what we're going to do now is have a look at connecting our steels together on this portal. Before we do, though, go to the View tab, go to Visibility and Graphics, and scroll down to Structural Connections. OK, now it will appear ticked, but if you press the little plus sign, you may find that these are not ticked. So make sure all of those different elements are ticked in the structural connections. Otherwise, when you create the, set, the connections, they're just not going to show up, which is confusing. So click OK when you've done that. Now, if we go to the Steel tab, now we've got the connection command, but before you press on that, just press the little arrow for connection settings. And what you can do is pick which connections you want. OK, and then you may want to just connect, select all of them if you wish, or you could just pick individual ones, add them across and say OK. Now what happens is we've got those connections where we need them. So what you've got to do now is select some steel. So we're going to select our two um, steel beams there that form the roof. We'll go back to our steel tab and we'll press connection. And we've got this apex haunch placed in there. Now, as we zoom in, we can now see that we've got bolts. OK, we've got some stiffeners in there. Let's just say that you wanted to edit that connection. Well, that's doable as well. You can click on the connection. You can say edit type. In a moment, it'll bring up the box. Here we go. Now you could duplicate it, rename it as you wish it, modify the parameters. And on here, we can see we've got the end plate. We can adjust the thickness of the end plate and a few other points. We could go to the haunches and change. those around and the bolts okay the stiffeners the welds even okay so there's quite a lot of different customizable features within that now i don't really need to edit them for what i'm doing here but it's just good for you to know that that's where it is and how you can do it okay so i'll just cancel that edit Then I would like to add in the two eaves connections. So let's zip over here, click on this and highlight that one. Steel connection. So we can see it's connected it and it's by default just dropped in that one there. Um, not overly keen on that one, perhaps. So let's instead change it and find a different connection that's um, apex again so end plate with bolts that's not really what we want is it we want some eaves connections so this is the one problem with having all of them loaded it can take a bit longer but here are some options so that one i think that one is a possibility um, but let's go for that one so there we go now we can see that's there changed. And again, similar principle, you could click on it, edit it, and edit the bolts or the flanges or the thickness of the steel, etc. Okay, and then again, let's put this one in as well. Steel connection. And again, it's gone to the wrong one. So we'll just swap it over to the other one we just picked. which was that one. There we go. So now we've added the steel connections to our portal frame. 